Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I want to talk about The Radium Girls by Kate Moore. Now, I read this book and it didn't take me long to read it, I just couldn't put it down, it was absolutely fantastic. Heartbreaking book. Um, so I've read some reviews of this on um, Goodreads and they're low stars because they don't like the way that Kate Moore constantly describes the girls as being young and, and pretty and full of life and full of energy. But the point of her doing that is to make the juxtaposition with what happened to them all the more horrific. These women went into them with their youth, their vitality, their good looks, their health, their enthusiasm, and it killed them. But before it killed them, it turned them into basically living corpses walking corpses. These were women who would go to the dentist and have all their teeth removed and the dentist would touch them and their jaws would fall out. They would get cancer on their legs and on their arms. Um, they'd get something similar to what they called fossy jaw from the phosphorus that would come down here. There was no one particular, you know, symptom, but lots of different ones and they got lots of different ones, so it was hard for them to prove. It tells the story of how they go through, the two different companies go uh, side by side, but the ending is the most horrific thing of all, if you read it. It's just, it's unbelievable. The uh, Radium Girls, the girls who fought for justice, they fought for the future, for people not to have to go through what they did. It's why we have health and safety laws today, it's partly because of these women. They gave up the rest of their lives fighting for this, these laws, for justice. Yes, they did get payouts, but these payouts were very limited and these payouts barely covered their medical costs and funeral expenses. Some of them were given an, an, an annuity of £600 a year while they lived. So they may have only lived for another year and then they wouldn't have got anything. It was really, really great. Some of them did last a lot longer and some people never got sick. It's just one of those really odd things. Some of them got sick, but not as bad. But when you see what happened to these women, it truly is horrific. And all it was done was because they would do this. They would paint the dials on the, the watches and clocks and they would put the brush to their lips, moisten it so it would go into a fine point. But every time they did that, they were ingesting radium. Now we know radium is, is poisoning. Marie Curie, who called it my beautiful radium, knew it was dangerous. Their bosses knew it were dangerous. The scientists that made the paint paste and then the, the dust that the girls would mix into paint knew it was dangerous. They wore lead-lined aprons and gloves and masks. The girls had no protection whatsoever. It's a horrific story of why we need health and safety laws, both in America and over here. I gave this five out of five stars. I really recommend it as a read. It is absolutely fantastic. And if you don't want to read the book, just go on to YouTube and search for The Radium Girls. You'll find some great documentaries out there about them and you can watch some videos instead. And that would be you know, 10, 15 minutes instead of a few hours of reading. I recommend it. I really enjoyed this book. There are a couple of plays based on it. There's a film being based on it, which I want to check out, but I really enjoyed this book. And I just wanted to talk about it for a little while. It made me angry. It made me sad. It made me realize what we can do if we stick together as a workforce as well. So rest in peace, girls. You're not forgotten.